I am running to the bus. It's been an interesting morning. Welcome to year five of daily uh, vlogging. Uh, smart self <laughs> forgot that the doors lock automatically I did not have my mask I did not have my phone and I did not have my magic band so I had to go to the front office covering my mouth like this and they were able to get me a key card and a mask <laughs> I was like I'm so sorry anyway but I'm on the bus to Animal Kingdom the first one Everything's going as planned. I'm the first person to literally go in the park. I had to be stopped at security because my portable charger set it off. But look, here I am. So fun. I've never been to this park before. Somehow, granted I've only been to Disney World three times before and two of those times when I was two and three. So I don't remember a ton. <laughs> but then eighth grade, we didn't come here. So, went to the other three parks, but not this one. Along with it seems like everyone else Good morning. Good morning. is headed to Pandora. I've never seen the free ride. I seriously think our bus might have been the first to get here, not positive. I mean, there were other buses here. There's no one else walking around except for those that just got off this bus. I don't know. Also, so cool. Here we go. Into Pandora. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Line for Flight of Passage, which the line usually goes all throughout here. This is so the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags. That was so cool. Amazing. Wow. And of course, that was great too. Like I said, Flight of Passage was incredible. Now I'm in line for Navi River Journey. I just ate one of my granola bars really, really quickly. So after I get off this ride, I'm gonna find something to like actually eat for breakfast because one granola bar is not going to hold me over <laughs> and these are the two rides that have the longest lines in the park throughout the whole day so. better shot of pandora this thing is huge the camera doesn't need to do it justice so currently the only rides in the park that are showing um uh wait times right now are the two here in pandora Flight of Passage was at 75 minutes. Navi River Journey is at 10. Okay, I lied. I might ride Kilimanjaro Safaris and then get something to eat because I'm gonna ride as far as at the beginning of the day and look right before I leave, I'll make it my last ride. So I'm in the front of the boat. Here we go. heading to Kilimanjaro Safaris because it says it's a 15 minute wait. Everything else is a five minute wait though, which is crazy. 
hoping it won't get too more <laughs> crowded during the day because if I could ride everything at five minutes dang but I need to eat <laughs> Kilimanjaro safaris and I'm trying to figure out where to get breakfast. It's proving to be a little difficult because the place I want to go I can't do a quick service order for. I don't know why. But a lot of people think okapi are related to zebras. They do not have horns. They're a little bit smaller than male kudu. They're also much more social. Male kudu have immediately to the left hand side. Any medicinal property. That would be completely untrue though. Nothing medicinal about rhino horns. Look at the hippos here to the left hand side. Peeking out, hippo coming out. Be really careful over this bridge. You need to be you know, listening to help from John, it'll make more sense. See <laughs> <laughs> that giraffe? Looks like a Maasai giraffe. Jagged lines in between the spots. Looks like those spots go all the way down their legs as well. With the African wild dogs, also known as spotted or painted dogs. Whatever you want to call them, they are the most. <laughs> Coming up on either side of us is going to be a great shot of the Ancole cattle. The Ancole or Watusi cattle, one of the oldest domesticated species in recorded history, known for their aggressive set of tips of the horns. The further into the tip of the horns, they group of giraffes is known as a tower. The giraffes are going to spin the majority. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Antelope next to them. Sable antelope are going to be the brown ones with those long curved horns. Will the beast going to be the some mantles on the left? Well, those are going to be some or, uh, sorry, flamingos. Great flamingo is one of the largest species of flamingo. There are, however, one of the white reintroduced into the wild soon. They gotta catch their prey in a short window of time. Gotta catch a look at them up there. Female lions, lioness. Catch up here. Ostriches are one of the flower. They're using their wings to slow. Also much more social than black rhinos grouping together in small groups like this known as a giant. Dwarf goats are great because they take up a fraction of the space of the full size. Awesome. Giraffes are my favorite animals. I was so glad to see so many of them. This was not in the plan to get, but how could I resist? Okay, here's the plan. I'm only wearing this one because this one fell on the floor, and I'll tell you why in a second. So, um, I just ate the Colossal Cinnamon Roll. It was delicious. I am going to go ride all of the other rides in the park because their wait times are super short because people are still over at Pandora, and they will be for a little while. I'm going to go ride all the other rides, and then I'm going to start at the front of the park, and I'm going to fully explore every inch of this park all the animal trails everything so collie river rapids is first so i have a backup disposable mask but i didn't want to put it on yet because if it gets wet i don't have another one i am in line now i'm gonna put my phone in this plastic bag so it doesn't get wet so i'll see you after right. that was extremely fun um actually i am headed to expedition everest and actually before i do that i'm gonna put on the uh the other mask of mine underneath this one because it didn't get I didn't get soaking wet I, my pants did but my upper half didn't But I've read, I've ridden the Disneyland equivalent, which is um, 
I don't remember. Anyway, the equivalent, but <laughs> not this one. The ride has temporarily closed for something happened up there, so, but they haven't told us to leave yet. Music's back, that's a good sign. Anyway, so we've been sitting here for, I don't know, maybe standing, sitting here for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes? Not bad at all. I'm sitting down because so much walking. I think I've already walked, last time I checked, I've already walked like three miles today and it's, at the time I checked, it was only 9.30. Literally as soon as I recorded that and the music turned back on, we started moving again. <laughs> Woohoo, we be in the front row! <laughs> that was epic. That was epic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I got to ride in the front, which was an amazing first experience for Expedition Everest. Amazing. I am heading to Dinosaur and Triceratops Spin because why not? The lines for everything else have gotten longer, but it's nearing the middle of the day, so that makes perfect sense. So, this is so cute. This is adorable. I am in line for Dinosaur. I know nothing about this ride, except that it's one more intense one. Not like roller coaster ride, but like um, thrill level type. Um, so yeah, I do know also, wasn't this ride something else at one point? I want to say when I read the Kingdom Keepers books, it talked about a different ride. Cool. That ride was not what I was expecting it would be. I didn't know it involved time travel. Anyway. I'm trying to figure out what to do now. I think I'm gonna go to It's Tough to Be a Bug because I think that's the last ride I have to do before I start exploring the park. I didn't even realize when I came out that there's hidden things inside the tree, like the spider Hello. and things like that. I think the one called the tree, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. bug was a <laughs> not what I was expecting. It was cute though. Um, but uh, fake spiders dropped from the ceiling and I was like, oh. Um, anyway, I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I've ridden all the rides and a lot of them have long wait times now so I wouldn't be riding them again anytime soon. So I think it's time for me to explore. But I think I might grab something to What's the thing? No, I'm not going to grab something to eat because I'm not really hungry. But once I get to the different pavilion, then I will. Or the section that I want to eat in, then I will. I officially walked all the way back to the front of the park. I am now going to explore. Look at anything, everything, so I don't miss it. There's a bridge here. I would have had no idea there's a bridge here. Oh my gosh, what is this? Look at all the dust. The hidden animals inside of this tree is truly incredible. Like elephant, tiger, like everywhere you look, it's amazing. I'm starting to believe that these penny press machines are not doing what they should because this is the second one now I've done a dollar for and I haven't gotten anything back. The penny hasn't come out of the slot. I have found more photo pass spots, which is great. So I've taken photos at all of those. And um, I have just ordered food from Satuli Canteen, um, which has the cheeseburger pods that I wrote down on my list to try. So those should be ready soon. I know I've shown Pandora so much, but like, it's amazing. Okay, so lunch was really good. Pro tip for Disney. Um, if you're like me and or if you're trying to get a lot of like snacks in a day definitely go for the kids meals because the kids meal that I had was plenty enough for me like <laughs> my kids meal was um, it was a cheeseburger pod it was a cheeseburger pod two cuties oranges chips and a small water oh also what's going on, Hang on. never mind nothing is happening but yeah, so that was perfect for me. And it leaves room for ice cream. Look the tortoises. Four of them. That's a tough to be a bug.
So I'm really glad I'm exploring because there's there's a train. Rafiki's Planet Watch. I had no idea it was here. Zero clue. And it doesn't show up on the ride. And his long-standing passion for conservation. I mean, I know I've never been to Animal Kingdom before, but <laughs> this takes you to a whole other section of the park. I'm at Rafiki's Planet Watch now where you get to see behind the scenes stuff of the animals, I think. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. This was a really cute area of the park. I am heading back to the train to head back to Harambe. Also, there's more. Hang on. No, there's not. Okay. Well, yeah, no, I think that's it. Okay because there's other things I want to see. And I think the train, the line for the train back was kind of long. The line is much shorter than when I arrived, which is nice. And I didn't realize it, but a train actually just arrived. So I think I might get on this one. Greetings, friends, and welcome aboard the flight. I'm now heading to the Gorilla Trails, Gorilla Falls, that stuff. So Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail, that's it. Headed to the jungle track. Aww. I am gonna go ride Expedition Everest again because that was fun. I mean, like, they've all been very fun, but Expedition Everest is easily my favorite in this park and shows it's only 40, like a 40, 15 minute wait. Well, Expedition Everest was fantastic. And um, the only thing is though, is the Yeti Sunday I wanted to get, they don't have it. So heading to my second choice, which is at Dino Bite Snacks for their um, ice cream, uh, ice cream between two cookies, whatever that's called, because I can't. Riding Triceratops spin because it was open and it's cute. I think because I'm here, I'm gonna ride Dinosaur again too. Because why not? I'm here. This is so much shorter than before. It says 20 minute wait, but last time I think it said 35 and we were all the way back. It was insane. They have it. I'm so excited. This thing is huge. <laughs> so good. It is 5.58. So it's about six o'clock, which is about an hour from when I was planning on leading leaving, which is an hour before park open. Uh, the park closes at 8 tonight, and unfortunately the sun doesn't set until 7.50, so meaning it's not even going to start to get dark until like 7.30, and I already want to be back on a bus back to the hotel by then so I don't hit the huge rush heading back. Um, <laughs> so unfortunately I will not be able to see Pandora at night, but I don't really think I'd be able to see Pandora at night anyway, unless if I was in line for one of the rides there when it closed. And to be quite honest with you, that's not something I plan on doing. Sorry, th these vlogs are so long, but I think future me will thank myself for that. The temperature has gotten much more bearable. Middle of the day was warm. Today. Oh, here now. Yay! Time to explore the tree of life. It's the last thing I have to do. I may have already walked this path before, but I don't think so. The tree. Well, it's blocked by the trees. Hang on. The tree. This is incredible. 
I'm literally like right under it. Well, it's right under the waterfall. <laughs> and I can miss. Found him. Hi, bud. He's hiding. Doesn't want to be seen by anyone. I get it. I get How it. In the world, did I not notice? <laughs> so cute. I may be on a new mission. Okay, so I found out those penny press machines. As it turns out, um, it's actually better to use a card because with the um, cash, um, it will eat it more likely. So with the credit card, it looks easier. And this woman told me, she goes, yeah, my daughter, my daughter has a book that's specifically made for those. And I was like, but at the same time, I don't want to spend all of that money today. So, <laughs> I think instead, I am just going to hopefully in the future come back for more and have more to collect every single time instead of getting them all now and then every time I come back being like, oh, I actually have all of them, unless if they switch out a machine. But I got eight from one machine, which was only $5 to get all eight, and then I got three from another machine for $3. Hey, so, in Epcot and Hollywood Studios, I will know that using a card is better. So, one of the last few animals. I found one more penny machine that I got three from, but it is time to say bye to Animal Kingdom. Bye, Animal Kingdom. It was a great day. I would like to document that it is 6:30. I got to the park around seven, but once again, another. 11 and a half hour day. I've made it back to my hotel room. I have to be completely honest, my, my feet, my feet are very much in pain. Um, and my, my hips too, for some reason. I think that means my, my hips are like out of line or something. Um, I think I remember years ago when I went to the chiropractor, they had to adjust my hip because one of them was slightly out of place with which made one leg slightly longer than the other that might be happening again um i cannot just stay in my hotel room for the rest of the night though because i am going to rest my feet for a little bit then i need to go to a cvs or a Publix or something because i need to get a new thing of sunscreen because my aerosol can of sunscreen that i bought has stopped working for some reason, I won't work at all. It won't spray, it won't, uh, I don't know. So I can't go to the park without sunscreen because that would be awful. Um, and the, the resort only sells the lotion kind. I'm not doing that. So, yes. Just goes to show everything is more expensive in Orlando. So if you have essentials that you need to buy before you go to Disney, buy them before you go. What is that? <laughs> Buy them before you go to Disney, not in Orlando, because the same sunscreen I got for $5 back home and it was $12 here. The sign is partially lit up tonight because, well, well, it is lit up because I'm driving in. I just, this is, I had to drive out to go to CVS, but it's lit up, woohoo. Time to take a practice walk to the Skyliner so I know where to go run tomorrow. I found the Skyliner station. It looks like I'm going to have to transfer to Caribbean Beach Resort and then to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. But also, look at how pretty this is. I had no idea these guys were here. I think it's because this is my building. I think it's on the back side of it. No, that's my building. Just kidding. I'm hopelessly lost. I'll find my way eventually. Finally found my building. Needless to say, I will not be going that way tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be going the way that I know. It is 8.41. I have taken a shower. Unfortunately, I cannot soak my feet in anything, not the shower and not the sink, because the sink I can't fully, I know this looks ridiculous, the sink I can't fully clog the drain and the shower is just a shower. It's, I can't clog that either. So I'm just gonna hope my feet kind of take care of themselves. I must have scratched myself accidentally, which happens a lot. Anyway, I am ending this vlog here because for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna be updating social media, checking messages, doing a few last minute things. And I sincerely hope whatever my apprenticeship is doing tomorrow, I can get done in class 
because if not, I don't know when I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like considering it'll likely be due Friday. Anyway, um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.